Hey everybody, Lewis here for Pixel Surplus, and today we're going to be learning how to change the color of SVG fonts in Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. The font we'll be using today is Blackshaw, hand-painted SVG font. This font, as well as the logo template we'll be using today, can be found at Pixel Surplus. Links will be in the description below. Head over to Pixel Surplus and download them both so you can follow along at home. So what is SVG fonts? Well, SVG is a new version of an open type format, and the SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. SVG format allows characters to be displayed in multiple colors, different transparencies, and some may even be animated. Once you get the font and logo file downloaded, make sure to install the fonts first. Next, Open up the Illustrator logo file and let's begin changing the colors of our SVG fonts. Once you have your logo template opened in Illustrator, you should be greeted with your logo on a white background. Let's begin by opening the layers panel and taking a look around to see all the different elements of our logo. First is the logo itself. Next is the NYC that we'll change the color to and make gold later on. Next is the background image. And finally, the colors that we'll be applying to the logo. First, let's begin by making sure we have our logo and colors visible in our layers panel. We'll only need access to our logos layer. So lock all other layers so they don't get in the way. So let's begin by selecting all of our logo. You can do this by hitting Control or Command A. Once you have it all selected, Let's group it by hitting Ctrl or Command G. Next, we're gonna draw a box around our logo type. So head over to the panel and choose the rectangle tool or click M on your keyboard. Once you've drawn a rectangle over your type, change the color. Don't worry about what it is, we'll be changing it again later. Now we need to send the rectangle to the back. So you can select the rectangle, right click, arrange center back or use my favorite shortcut control shift open square brackets now that our black svg font is sat on our colored background select everything by hitting control or command a next we have to open the transparency panel so head to window transparency now with the transparency panel visible and your logo type and colored background selected, hit Make Mask. Now, hit Clip and Invert Mask. Sweet, we just changed the color of our SVG font in Adobe Illustrator without affecting any of the transparency. Now, red wasn't exactly what we were going for with this logo. So head over to the Layers panel and turn on the visibility for the image. With your logo selected, click I to access the eyedropper tool and click on the white box in the top left corner, turning your logo text to white. Now, let's do the same again, but let's turn the NYC to gold. Begin by heading to the layers panel and turning off the visibility for the logo and image and turning on the visibility for NYC. And finally, let's unlock the NYC layers panel and lock all of our other panels so they don't get in the way. With our NYC layers panel selected, let's access the rectangle tool, either in the tool panel or hitting M on your keyboard. Draw a large rectangle covering the NYC and change the color to something that isn't black. Now let's send our rectangle behind our SVG font by right clicking, arrange, center back, or by hitting shift, control, open square bracket. Once again, we're gonna open the transparency panel. So head to windows and transparency and select the text as well as the rectangle by hitting control A. Now hit make mask, clip, and invert mask. Next, let's head to the layers panel 
and turn on the visibility for logo and the image. Finally, with your NYC selected, hit I on your keyboard to access the eyedropper tool and select the gold in the top left corner. Awesome. Not only do you have this athletic logo template and beautiful SVG font, you also know how to change the color of SVG fonts in Adobe Illustrator. Next, we're gonna learn how to change the color of SVG fonts in Photoshop. And just like in Illustrator, it's not as easy as just changing the font color like you usually would. But something to remember is that Photoshop is gonna give you a lot more control when it comes to transparent SVG fonts, like the ones we're using today. So open up the Photoshop file and you should be greeted with the logo on a white background. Let's begin by taking a look around our layers panel. First is logo. Next is the NYC, then color, then the image. Let's make sure we have logo, color, and image visible in our layers panel. Head to the layers panel and choose logo. Head to the bottom and choose add a layer style. Now, click on color overlay. With the color overlay panel open, click in the color picker. With the provided eyedropper tool, head to the top left corner and choose the white box, turning your text from black to white. Great. Now let's do the same again for gold. So head to the layers panel and turn on the visibility for NYC. Select NYC in the layers panel and head down to the bottom and choose add layer style. Now color overlay. With the color overlay panel open, click in the color picker and use the included eyedropper tool to select the gold in the top left corner. Finally, head back to the layers panel and turn off the visibility for the color layer. And there you have it. You now know how to change the color of SVG fonts in both Illustrator and Photoshop. And if you're like me, I bet you just can't get enough of these gorgeous SVG fonts. So make sure you head to Pixel Surpass where we have a whole selection of them, like Drag Race or Rhythmic. Pixel Surplus is also the home to free graphics, textures, mockups, and templates. Oh, and did I mention we have the best font bundles in the internet with crazy discounts? So come and give us a visit. All of the links to any of the products I've mentioned today can be found in the description below. And whilst you're down there, hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day, everyone.